It's the shooting guy. Hey, thanks a lot for joining me today. I appreciate you stopping by. You could have been anywhere, but you decided to stop here. And so I, for that, I want to say thank you. Uh, consider subscribing, won't you? And if you're a subscriber, thank you so much for already subscribing. I do appreciate it a lot that uh, you took the time to subscribe and you come back and you take a look. It's because of folks like you that keep me doing this kind of stuff. All right, so what do we got here today? Fiskers! I know. For the last couple of weeks we've been talking about axes and then my last uh, video uh, was uh, the Fiskers uh, X11 axe, which uh, I really grew to like. It didn't start off very good, but after I figured it out and took some uh, took time with it and patience with it, it actually works very, very well. And I got to thinking, well, how am I going to sharpen that stupid thing? Now, I've been using sharpeners for a very long time. Everything from a honing stone to a carbide wheel, uh, custom-made carbide wheel sharpener thing. That's to put a, a coarse edge on, obviously. To a Smith's ceramic edge and carbide tip edge thing. Here's a little pocket Smith's, and that's even for serrations. So I've done a whole mess of different things. In comes the Fiskars Rolling Sharpener. Great little tool. Um, Ceramic blades inside there. There you go, see inside the little ceramic wheels. All you got to do is you put your blade down in there and uh, sharpen it. Doesn't matter if it's a knife, doesn't matter if it's a, an axe, doesn't matter if it's a SOG tomahawk, but you put that baby down and sharpen it. Let me give you a demonstration. I'm sharpening my SOG. Look at this. Yikes. Does a good job. So actually what we're going to do here is take a knife that we use often. It's a kitchen knife. I'm going to try this out because I know this thing is dull. Uh, it needs a good sharpening. I'll, uh, I'm just going to throw down a piece of uh, particle board. It's just something that we can take and put the sharpener down on so it's a firm surface so I can uh, give it a whirl. Before I do that, let's take a look and see how sharp this knife is. Yeah, it just kind of tears. It's not really cutting through there very well. All right, so this will be a good test. Chunky knife, let's see what we can do. And all you got to do is just roll it back and forth on the ceramic blades. Let's do that nine or ten times. Feels okay. I'm going to run my finger, not on the blade, but just make sure there isn't a burr. Ooh, yeah. It took some material off, didn't it? Now let's try it. Oh, a little bit better. Yeah, it helps. Okay, let's put it through a little bit more. See what happens. Okay. Maybe what we'll do is, uh, yeah, that works okay. Ooh, it does help. Yeah, a little better. Well, at least for a kitchen knife, it did pretty well. So based on my unscientific study, my little testing on a kitchen knife, it actually improved the edge of that knife. Now, I guess that could be said for, you know, any of the methods that I've shown you, you know, whether it's your Smiths or, you know, honing stone or, you know, this little thing I was showing to you earlier. Um, anything is better than nothing, but uh, the fact that I can take out my axe and slip that baby in there and roll it back and forth and give it an edge that is just killer. I'd say for $9, it's a, uh, it's a good investment. And you just pull back on this thing here if you want to. And the blade, the ceramic blades come out. You can clean the trough inside of there because you're going to get some material in there. I know I already did. And uh, it'll work well for you. Well, there you go. It's the Fiskars Rolling Sharpener. And it goes well with your Fiskars Axe, SOG Tomahawk, uh, your kitchen knife, or any of the other knives you got laying around. Seemed to work pretty good for me. 
If you get yourself one, let me know what your results are, okay? And I'm just saying, this is just my, uh, my, my discovery. Your results may vary, but let me know. How did it go for you? There you go. It's the shooting guy, and uh, we're taking off. Have yourself a good one. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. I'm a little, uh...